Greetings, Cascade View, Thorndike, and Tukwila art students. When you think of a jellyfish, what kind of shapes do you see? What kind of lines do you see? Today in virtual art school, we're going to explore drawing a jellyfish and more. Let's begin by taking our paper and starting with a half sheet of paper by simply folding the paper in half, lining up the corners, running your finger down the center, and going back and forth. So for this one, you can choose to make your drawing the long way, or my preference for drawing this jellyfish figure is to go the tall way. Now we're going to start with the jellyfish first. We're going to start with the jellyfish bodies first. I'm going to say let's start with two in your picture, but you can certainly do as many as you want. Think about when you've seen jellyfish swimming around in the water before, if you've seen them. And the first thing I'm going to do is make two very narrow ovals. Looks like a giant grain of rice. I'm going to try to tip them too, so they're not going straight up and down. Okay, very narrow. So what you don't want to do is make a circle. You want a narrow oval, almost pointy on the sides. We call that an ellipse in art. And then we're going to take that narrow oval and we're going to put a top on it. That's the jellyfish's top. We're going to go all the way across the top, making a half circle. So it may take a few tries, but you want it right at the corner to the corner. That's right. I'm going to turn my paper because it might make it a little easier to draw that. So you don't want it to end like this. You don't want to have that little extra piece right there hanging out. You want it to go corner to corner. Okay, two jellyfish tops. Next thing you want to do is draw a line that goes straight down from the center. That's going to be about twice the size of one of these jellyfish tops. Now if I were going to use a math word, that would be perpendicular. So it's going like this and then like, like a T. And now we're going to do the inside of, the, of that line by using a small curvy line that attaches itself to that line, giving it the details of that inside piece. It's like drawing a bunch of little M's over and over again. And repeat the process on the top one, or the next one. Awesome. So, we're now going to draw the tentacles. So I'm not sure what this part of the jellyfish is, but I know they seem to have some large shape within the tentacles. Now we're going to draw the tentacles. When we draw the tentacles, you want to go almost straight down off that oval that you created. Give them a little bit of a curve. You can make them stick out more. I like them to come straight down like this. And these are the tentacles that have the stingers on them. You don't want to touch those. In fact, you don't even want to touch a jellyfish. Even when you're on the beach and you see one that looks like it's not alive, they can still sting you. But you can draw them and touch the drawing all you want. 
All right. That looks good. So now we need to have a place for these jellyfish to live. Down here, we'll call this the bottom of the of the water. And I'm going to do a different kind of line. This is a more controlled, little bumpy line. This time, I'm going to make like a coral-looking line by making sort of a wiggly line that goes from all the way here to the other side. And it does not have to be perfect. In fact, it looks better if it's not perfect. So I'm going to press a little hard with my pencil. Just a little wiggly line that goes all the way across until it reaches the other side. It doesn't have to be wiggly. It can be perfectly smooth. That's just my choice. And I'm going to give it a little bit of texture using the scribble effect. Nice, easy way to create the texture of coral. Look at that. Who, in, who ever said scribbling wasn't a way to create? Blend it with your finger a little bit too. And as always, if you have crayons or markers, you can certainly apply those to this project. Although here at Virtual Art School, we're assuming that everybody has pencil and paper. And I'm going to show you how to draw some plant life. I'm going to see an enemy. So you want to go a little higher. And see an enemy is those little plants that have look like a little octopus under the water. And I'm not even sure if it's a plant. I think it's an animal. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another little oval, like a grain of rice. Draw this one super light because we're going to erase this. And then you're going to go around it with a wiggly line, a very long wiggly line. These are the tentacles. You can actually go to the aquarium in Seattle and they'll let you touch the sea enemies with one finger in their little pink. So now I'm going to erase that out. The oval was there just to kind of help me get started. But I'm going to put a little tiny one in here. Represent a little hole there. And then I got to draw the body. Remember we went up a little bit so I can draw the body. This is kind of a squishy shape and have to be perfect. And we'll give it some texture. And then you can draw more of them, you can draw one, you can draw a whole family of them, but I'm going to save some room for some seaweed. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a little point right here, and from that point I'm going to draw a curvy line that gets wider as it gets down to the bottom of the paper. And repeat that process several times, let them run into each other. Have them different sizes, of course. I've never seen plants that all grow the same size. Oops, give a dot first. And really fill up this little underwater world. Nice skinny lines. They can be thick, they can be thin. I like the thin ones. Maybe off in the distance we can draw some smaller ones. And these don't have to go through the whole process of, well, you can if you want the whole oval, but they're further away, so you see less detail. So you don't have to spend as much time with them. That one's going behind. See how it's overlapping? And maybe at the top we'll put the water, indicating where the water ends. The wavy line. Just for fun, let's put a boat up there. You can see the boat under the water here, so changes color when it's under the water, or changes value. 
maybe a person up in that little boat. That is a big jellyfish compared to that boat, or maybe that person is far away. Maybe he's jellyfish hunting. He's got his net. Well, I don't recommend it because you can get seriously stung. All right. Probably sign your artist's signature. And we're done. See you next time on Virtual Art School.